The state recognizing veterans across New York today as well, inducting those with distinguished service into the Veterans Hall of Fame. Tonight, I caught up with a local World War II vet who has earned that very honor. Harry Williams says once he made up his mind to join the Army, there was no changing it. I was 17 and a half. I, was, I had lied what my true age was and my mother didn't want to sign. What you could call a little white lie led to a truly distinguished service during World War II. Williams was a forward observer on open air tanks in the 62nd Armored Field Artillery Battalion. We traveled with the infantry. In other words, what I'm saying to you is, as they took a target, we were right behind, far and ahead of them to give them protection. Always on the front lines and with little protection, Williams' fellow soldiers credit him for serving with honor and without a single complaint. His service took him to the Battle of the Bulge and across the Czech border rescuing concentration camp victims. He says he did see some truly harrowing sights at Omaha Beach on D-Day. When we finally got in, excuse me, there was dead lying all over the beach. Everywhere you could see men were some were, the water edges were red with blood. For his bravery, Senator Neil Breslin nominating him this Memorial Day to be inducted into the State Hall of Fame. Williams says he's humbled, but the real credit shouldn't go to him. I'll take the honor for my buddies, the ones that didn't make it home. They're the ones that deserve the honor. Yeah, we get all the accolades they gave the Supreme their life, you know. And Mr. Williams, truly inspiring to talk to, and all that emotion that he showed really makes you think about everything our veterans go through. Absolutely. So important to hear their stories. And Cap, you know as well as I do, we're able to enjoy our freedoms, live yes. in this great nation because no, of men like him. You're absolutely right. Uh, they are heroes. And uh, we reflect today, today and this whole weekend was a weekend of reflection. And, you know, you, you realize that they gave everything, they gave their lives for us to have everything today, no doubt. Thank you.